Hello my soccer universe, this is a bittersweet video in many regards and yes this is a package from classic football shirts. Uh, the good news is that from this package uh, I got a 20 euro, uh, 20 pound discount because they gave me the wrong Turkish uh, shirt in the last one and I was really excited about that because that basically means a uh, free shirt uh, for the price <laughs> of, uh, you know, another free, uh, more or less a free shirt or at least a big discount on a nice shirt that I want to have. And I decided, yeah, let's uh, check around and uh, towards the end of uh, Jan January when salary comes, let me order. So that I was very, very excited. And I added another one on uh, that serves as a kind of replacement for a uh, jersey that uh, was a fake, so I, at least, I have made up this team, we'll talk about that. However, it is bittersweet because yesterday the parcel arrives and the mailman, and I, I really hate the way they do it. They usually ring leave the parcel and that's that, but then the mailman's already there and I know, oh yeah, fuck. Uh, sorry for the cursing. We need to, uh, I need to cash in. And he just uh, said, okay, how much? And he, oh, I have to look, I have to look. 16 euro 77, the whole package here, including shipping was I think 45 pounds somewhere in that neighborhood. So 50 euro, euros maybe. And I have to say, I'm already a little bit, yes, it is uh, good shipping, it is tracked and everything, uh, but I'm already at the price. I'm a little bit, yeah, okay, I usually, when I order from classic football shirts, uh, I think sh a regular shipping is seven ninety nine pounds sterling. Uh, I always have the code FH10 if I don't, you know, to get ten percent off. Uh, that works all the time from footy headlines. So uh, I usually try to buy the shirts that as much that this ten percent more or less offset the shipping at the bare minimum. Uh, almost achieved it here. So, you know, I can live with that. I more or less get uh, cheaper shipping. But then on top of that 16 pounds, uh, 16 euros, I'm, 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 uh, 17 euros for this parcel, customs. And I have to tell, I have to show you, they even marked it here with gift and so on. But seemingly this doesn't work very well because it's this Drittland import, so third, uh, third uh, country. So it's not par par what you. It is absolutely, absolutely devastating for me. I love classic football shirts, and it is no fault of their own. Let me be 100 percent clear. I blame the politicians and everyone who vote, voted for Brexit. Uh, and you know, I made yesterday a tweet and also a post on Facebook, but the tweet got a lot more response. Um, Basically, this means for me, uh, classic football shirts is not really that much of an option anymore to grow my collection. Uh, I mean, they were never my primary source, but I love to order from them because I know I get quality shirts. And for certain cases, they really have good deals and certain shirts you only get this way. And I don't have to wait for end of season sales or what. So they have a really, really good collection of old shirts, although I have to say their range uh, over the last two years, I always have the feeling that... Uh, they hold back because uh, for certain teams, there's hardly anything there anymore, at least in my size, let's put that where I usually filter. So, um, yep, <clears throat> it really irks me. It really, really irks me. I, I, I actually thought, I mean, my uh, where I will wanted to use classic fold football shirts is to order a few more French shirts. Now, the thing is, uh, the customs, this was a, let's say, 40 pound uh, package. 50 maybe a value or whatever uh, some 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 there and you have to pay uh, you know another 17 euros on top of that so for 50 or 77 euros that's more or less a third now imagine if you order more I heard someone say okay uh, you need to order smaller pack packages and the customs charge is smaller yeah but then all uh, shipping charges it doesn't really work out so Maybe, maybe, this is my last classic football shirts order. 
We have to figure something out there. It's, it cannot be. It cannot be. I knew there will be trouble with Brexit and I have been ordering last year maybe more from classic football shirts than ever because I knew with Brexit there will be all kinds of, kind of trouble. But did I think about this? No, I did not think about this. But yeah, I was... <sighs> and I am actually so happy about what's in here. Let me tell you, let, let me tell you right from from the get go. It's as I said, a one replacement shirt, uh, jer jersey, and one jersey of a team that I don't have yet, and that is on the top ten list. Uh, let's do the replacement jersey first. Both are blue. The Iceland World Cup jersey, home jersey. I. You know, I haven't. I, I thought I had an Iceland jersey, uh, and then it turned to the one from 2016, where they were actually good. I mean, this one they actually stunk most of the time. But okay, I thought that the jersey, the jersey is interesting enough. A fire and ice, I can get on board with that. But just look at. I mean, I, I really would like to have the original here, but just look at how sparkly the crest already, already is. Um, if you ever find this uh, brand new in bag. Note here you have there is some uh, how does a cardboard around it with a nice pattern as well. So it's an area jersey. I'm actually now curious how well an XL will fit from area because uh, the Parma jersey that I have that was an L is barely barely fitting. So let's unpack here. It says here on the you saw probably Island. Let's get this out of the bag. I have, to, I have to give a lot, lot of credit to Area. They have been, I mean, I know the popular brand, but they have been doing a lot of great things so far. So, first of all, the tags are on the right side of the collar, right here. This, and there are two tags. I know Area is maybe not as uh, fake, but you know. I got a fake area uh, jersey, so you have the one with the Island and then you have just one with area and XL here on the back. So just for reference, there is some paper in there that will take out. I usually keep these papers because, you know, ironing. And let's look at this beauty. I actually wish that the color was all the way white through, but other than that, I actually really like this shirt. Uh, the, it, the, the pattern here is actually quite cool, I have to, I have to say. Do I like the 2016 better? Yes, I do, but I have to say, fire and ice and uh, those sleeves, this is really, really nice print. And this again, these dots that we already saw. Uh, there is some a little bit of ventilation under the arms, which I find interesting now. There's this mesh and under it, so to make it also interesting, there's some that the fire is coming through, I guess. Let me see. Yep, this is a red and then blue. This is uh, this. It's quite interesting. I, ha I have to say, this is a good quality shirt. I also feels the material feels nice. The area is stitched, and the other one was not. And let's see, uh, authentic tags. It has here. Yeah, this is yeah, like that. It's it's a cloth that's kind of glued on here, and then just again. Area XL and there are the three with the instructions. So yeah, I'm actually quite happy to have this jersey again. All with the caveat, I really, 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 really didn't want to pay the customs charge. But who wants to do that? Uh, and the other thing, and this is what gave it when the other one was was a fake, of course. Here on the inside it says Island. Furia Island is also quite nice. So yeah, I have to say I'm quite happy. With that one Icelandic flag on the back, we'll do a dedicated video on this one too. But I'm for now, that's definitely a winner. And let's take, take, take the other one. The other one is on my top 10 list teams I wanted to get for this year. It's not exactly the one that I wanted to get because they didn't have it yet. So I decided to get the one from two seasons ago. And it's another Premier League team. But this time I one that I don't have with Everton. Here with a nice sparkly shirt from Umbro. Actually, it has a very cloth-like feeling. Let's open this bag. Yep, 
it's always nice to get brand new jerseys for a little bit more reasonable price. But I have to say, I, I think I gave this a really high rating. Again, there's a lot of paper in there. And again, keep that paper if you want to do any applications or do anything with your jer uh, jer jersey or other jerseys. It's not a bad idea to do so. Right off the get-go, I have here, uh, <laughs> it's on the waist, this product tag, official Umbro. And then there's a code, I have to check on that, that, that code. I actually really like this material. It's not your plain blue, but just look at the material here. It's really cool. It has a button here. The tag now is on the left shoulder. And this is a typical Umbro tag. It's a one tag. We have the diamond here. This is probably easy to be faked. Uh, it's of course the 1819 jersey. I really, really like that one. And I actually had this ar argument on this channel uh, below the top 10 jerseys I wanna get. I actually find the Angry Birds sleeve sponsor quite cool. And uh, I know a lot of people around here that like it. And then I hear that from a subscriber that it was not very well received in Liverpool. So there, there, there you go. I'm a little bit dis disappointed, I have, I have to say that these Umbro diamonds are just print printed on. But yeah, I have to say, I really like this crest. The sponsor is not perfect, but I think I like it as just blue and not very intrusive. It doesn't take away from the quality of the shirt in any regard. It's a really, 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 really nice one. I gotta say there's also some ventilation, but yeah, finally Everton. This was a team that I actually should have had a long time ago. Now I finally pulled the trigger on one. Uh, I also find this on the back is probably from the St. Rupert's Tower or something like that. That logo is quite interesting. But uh, for me, the most interesting part is it's kind of this headed fabric pattern, which I find really, 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 really nice and interesting. So yeah, I don't want to say goodbye classic football shirts, but yeah, I'm not going to order from you very soon, I'm afraid. And this is really, 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 really sad, really sad. And it's to no fault of theirs. Again, <sighs> Brexit, what a cluster mess, I have to say. Absolutely. This is, <sighs> bugs me. In any case share your thoughts on either the jerseys or customs or whatever and if you're not from great britain i know from northern ireland if you get then it is uh still customs free <sighs> yeah. don't get me started don't go don't, don't get started okay. don't get me started i checked one site there that i think north ireland and i classic shirts but uh, this selection is by far not as great as classic football shirts what needs to be done is a classic football shirts has a warehouse in northern ireland or move the whole operation to northern northern ireland and do it and, and ship from there <sighs> that's what i wish that's what I really wish, uh, and then I would really consider... I mean, I'm not ordering, as I said, I ordered, I think, four times from them last year. Uh, I don't order all that often, but sometimes they really have just the jerseys that I want. They really do. And the uh, the last thing I have to say is, um, speaking of shipping, I mean, shipping for me is sometimes a stomach block. Uh, that North Macedonia jer jer jersey, the, it's hanging here in the window, you cannot see. Uh, that I ordered not too long ago uh, was so cheap, but then the shipping almost doubled the price. And I said, okay, but it's still 55. And then again, custom charges, and then uh, which were even more than this, although the, jer the, the, the jersey is not as much worth, kills it. Um, I remember after Sevilla won the Europa League, I wanted to order from Sevilla so because they had the jerseys, I think, for dirt cheap, they had a 60 or 70% off. To get rid of the old stock and it was the with, with, with the La Liga patch. Okay, it's the same jer jersey. I think it was 30 euros and I would have bought it. And then the shipping is 30 euros to Austria because they don't use the regular mail, they use a courier. This is the stuff that kills the joy out of getting jerseys. And I really, I really, 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 really would like to get uh, some more La Liga jerseys and some more League uh, jer jerseys and so on. But it's really hard because of all the 
shipping and all. I mean, at least it's in the EU now, but um, hmm. the good news is in a week from now, it's Valentine's Day and I'm getting probably a super nice truck jersey. The, the bad news is I ordered off eBay a uh, jersey that was really cheap when it comes from Ukraine. And I'm now already afraid that this will be another one with customs charge. I'm really, really, I hope not, but I'm, I, I am afraid it will be. So let's see. And anyway, any thoughts of yours are very welcome. Uh, as I said, on the whole shipping, uh, tariffs, customs, whatever charges, the two jerseys that I got, which I am personally very happy, but the joy is quite uh, minimized. And yeah, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.